I am joined now by Sherry and Paul Staley, and we are here to talk about pumpkin works. I was saying earlier, we all matched this morning. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, and this is really an awesome, awesome place. If you've never been out to pumpkin works, I encourage you to go out there. It's really fun. What, how many years have you guys been doing this? This will be 17 seasons. 17 seasons. And for people who haven't been out there, kind of tell us what you all have out there. Well, uh, we have entertainment. We have a lot of mazes. Um, we have hay rides. And, and this year you have a special maze, don't you? Yes, we do. Tell us a bit it, about it. It's a Relay for Life maze. That's very dear to our hearts. We had um, um, some very special friends. Um, with Cancer Lab this last year, and of course, you know, everybody has family and mm -hmm. friends, but um, one of them even worked for us while she was taking radiation. Oh, wow. <laughs> so we um, decided that we would honor our friends and family with a, a Relay for Life maze and ribbon cutting ceremony is Saturday at 10 o'clock. Wonderful, and so then people can check out all the mazes, and you have mazes for all different skill levels, don't you, Paul? Yes, we do. It's uh, and new this year is the vortex, and it's it's I think it's basically for six and up. Okay. But it's a neat piece of equipment that really plays some tricks on your equilibrium. I think it'll be well received. Very neat, and you also and you, that's the cool thing about pumpkin works. You have things for the smaller children, but you also have things for the older kids and adults. Some of this, you know, the, if they want to be spooky or scared, you have don't you have some night hay rides that sort of thing? We do have some night hay rides, and the, the Missouri <laughs> monster has been researched by Texas A and M and Oklahoma State, uh -huh. and he's a very laid back shy type monster that we think may be making several appearances in Elbridge this fall. Oh, so he's coming back. Yeah, he's you think coming he's back. out there? I, he's, we do. He's, he, there. he's quite recluse and very hard to capture on film, but I, I well, you think you have to go out and see if you can see him. We'll, we'll, right. we'll do our best. Now, if people want to go out and do these things, what's the cost to do them? Well, there's free admission to the farm, Okay. and um, some of the activities take one ticket. Some take two. The hayrides take three tickets. Tickets are two fifty a piece. And what, when are you guys open? We um, open Saturday the nineteenth. We'll be open through November first. And what are your hours? And well, they're a little bit different. Okay. Um, um, through September ten till five during the week. Um, uh, Saturday till nine, or excuse me, Saturdays ten till ten. Sundays 12 till 6. The weekend hours are always the same through the whole season. Wonderful. Thank you all for joining us this morning. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy being here. Thank you. There's more news and weather straight ahead, but first we want to take you to break with all that information for Pumpkin Works. You can go out there and get your fall decorations and, you know, go through the maze or take a hayride.